Chris Sully after Taunton nil, Ebsleet one. Looked like a tough game out there today. Yeah, we've had a few like that lately, but um, taking everything into account today, the travelling, obviously we didn't. We set off about 8.30 this morning, four and a half hour journey down, obviously looking at the pitch, and you can see it on there, not the greatest, but another game where we stuck together, done the basics well, kept a clean sheet, and like we say, we've always got a chance of nicking a goal at the end, and that's what we managed to do today. What about the uncertainty in the preparation? I mean, how did it affect you that you know you didn't know whether the game was on until 12.30? It must have been very unsettling. Yeah, like the boys are looking on social media yesterday, and I think yesterday afternoon, majority of the lads thought the game was going to be off. But you've got to prepare like, like we normally do. Um, my normal routine last night did exactly the same. Went in this morning, I was expecting it to be off, to be honest, this morning. And then, yeah, we got the news. It was delayed till 12, so it's just on the bus journey. Nothing you can do. Just got to prepare like we normally would. And yeah, thankfully it was on and we managed to get the three points. Did you, was there any point in the game where you thought, you know, it's just not going to be our day today. You know, we're going to be plugging away, plugging away, doing what we can, but the goal wouldn't come. And then, in time ended on, you managed to get the job done? Um, to be honest, no. Um, maybe the last, when the injury time comes up, you start drinking, maybe not. But throughout the whole game, I was certain we'd create at least one or two golden opportunities and we'd take one of them. Um, and today, Dom again, right place, right time, taps it in, another one to his tally. And you didn't have his old chum, uh, Mr Bingham, alongside him today, so that was a good one. Yeah, I think he missed him, didn't he? Yeah, he I think did. he's still with a celebration. I don't think he knew what to do. But uh, for you personally, you took a bit of a clattering a couple of times. They seemed to take a fancy to trying to rough you up, but, but, but you, you just brushed it off and carried on. Yeah, it's part and parcel of the game, so yeah, you give some, take some, so yeah, part and parcel of the game. I enjoy that side, so just got to get on with it. Now, today, three points in the bag, takes us on to Good Friday at home. One point secures the title and promotion. May not be next Friday, but it would be good to do it in front of your home fans, wouldn't it? Oh, definitely. Look, we'll take it as soon as we can. Like we'd have took it today if we could, but like you say, it's much better doing it in front of your home fans. Um, we won't be going into next Friday thinking the draw is enough. We'll be going to win the game, like we will the next five, and then we'll be going, like I say, to win the next five games and see where that takes us points-wise. I think we'll be well over 100 if we do that, and that's the target now. What's this one for you? You're, you're, I'm sure you'll excuse me for saying you're a veteran. You know, you're one of the senior players at the club. You know, you, you've been around this sort of situation before, but it must be a great feeling as a player to get to the sharp end of the season yeah. and you're in with a shout for the big prize. Definitely, like, but you see that like, with the gap we've got now. Subconsciously, I do think it's quite easy to lose that that like small percentage, maybe it's one two percent, and it can make a big difference. So, I think the gap has been brilliant um, throughout the week keeping things the same, keeping everyone's heads on it. Nothing's changed at all. Um, the intensity in training's been the same. And then you can see that in the performances like today, we grind out another win and another three points. Maybe next week you'd do it before time added on at the end of the game to calm some of the uh, the, the palpitations going through the fans. I mean, they, they must yeah. have been a bit nervous out there. Yeah, I'm sure they was, but I, I'd imagine a few are standing down for the weekend, so at least they can have a nice weekend now and yeah, hopefully we do it at home next week and it'll be a great great occasion for the whole club. Well, go and enjoy a pint of scrumpy tonight. Nice one, thank you. Well done, cheers. Cheers. cheers.